Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, I am so happy you found me. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you haven't been here before, I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap, on sale, and really, really fabulous. So today we're doing this eye look. Today is just going to be a very casual chat to get ready with me. Not like my videos are ever super, super professional anyway. <laughs> We're just girls talking here, uh, but we're just going to play. We're just going to play. I wanted to play with some color. I'm feeling, I'm actually not feeling great. Uh, I am not like going to get into it yet, but I'm not feeling great. So I figured that I would sit down and maybe play with some, uh, play with some makeup, throw some color on my face and talk to my besties for a minute. Uh, so I am doing this eye look. Y'all tell me in the comments how stunning this eye look is. I am so happy with it. Sometimes art can come out of a place of pain. Some of the most beautiful art can come out of a place of maybe not necessarily pain, but you know what I mean? Beautiful things can come out of out of pain. It's it's wonderful. So this is what the eye look looks like. How beautiful is she? I do have a pictorial coming on this look very, very soon. It'll be coming to my Facebook. The link for that will be in the description box below. Uh, and yeah, I will of course list everything that I'm using in today's video in the description box as well. And if you guys have any questions, all you got to do is shoot me a comment and I will get back to you. So we're going to be using one of the newer palettes in my collection today. We're going to use the Beauty Bay Bright 2.0. I really, really enjoy this palette. I think this palette is stunning. I think the formula is fire. It is just so, so good. This is what the color story looks like. How gorgeous is this? Love, love, love. So we're going to use this bad boy today. We're also going to use a little bit of a uh, glitter palette that I have. I'll show that to you in just a second. I already have my eyeshadow primer on. I'm using, guys, the same thing I always use. This is my Wet n Wild uh, Prime Focus, Photo Focus. Photo Focus Rose Eyeshadow Primer. Uh, it's good. I mean, it's good. I say it in every video. I, I did finally realize, though, that this eyeshadow primer has a little bit of coverage to it. And I think I like that. I usually use, like, transparent eyeshadow primers because I usually go for uh, tack, like, stickiness more than coverage. But I actually like that this gives my eyelids a little bit of coverage. Helps give me a more even base to start everything off of. I enjoy that. So I'm going to go in with my Moda brush. This is, I've been really liking this brush here recently. This is just my Moda crease brush, but it is a domed, dense, stiff, kind of like packing slash uh, blending brush. I really enjoy this shape in particular because it's small enough to get into my inner corner, but it's, act, but it's, uh, it's got enough bristles in there that I can pack and blend with it at the same time. So I'm not having to use a million different brushes. Y'all, I tell you what, I get sometimes when I do eye looks like this, I can legitimately sit here and use 15 different brushes. Just And then at the end of every, sh every makeup session, I have to sit here and I have to clean my brushes. And it takes like freaking 30, 45 minutes. Ugh. So I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on how many brushes I'm using. And this really, really helps me do that. I'm going to go in to a pink shade first and pack that onto my inner corner. I'm going to go into the shade. This is the prettiest pink shade. This is called shock. So this one right here, I'm just going to start packing that on the inner corner. I am going to pin my hair back though. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, so pink on the inner corner. So before, I don't want to worry you guys. I am not in pain. There's like nothing wrong. You know, everything is fine. The sky is not falling. Uh, but I just, I don't know. You ever just like, mm, you ever just like wait for the other shoe to drop? You know what I mean? I, I grew up in a not great environment and spent much of my childhood waiting for the next bad thing to happen. And unfortunately, that is something that has carried over into uh, my adult life as well. And things will be going great, right? 
and we're doing my husband and I are doing so well right now we're like doing everything we're supposed to be you know we're sober we've been sober for a really really long time we're we're just we're, we're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing right and then I just have days where I wake up and I'll wake up in the middle of the night and like I'll have a nightmare or I guess my subconscious is I don't know trying to talk to me but I'll wake up in the middle of the night just terrified absolutely terrified like cold sweats screaming terrified and then of course that carries over into my day and I spend the whole day so anxious and nervous you know you just you know when you have that like ball in the pit of your stomach and you're just like uh, you know and I hate that feeling I know it's anxiety <clears throat> but it's like it's like almost more hardcore I, I don't even know how to explain it it's just I feel like you're just constantly waiting for the next bad thing to happen right so when that happens and when I start to feeling like that I I just do stuff to get my mind off of it y'all I cleaned my whole house today I was like I have been so proactive I've been I've been so I'm very proud of myself I got Sean's room clean I got it like clean from top to bottom clean I am so incredibly happy about that I got all of my laundry done I washed linens I washed curtains I dusted everywhere I mopped everywhere I vacuumed everywhere I uh, I'm going into the orange now I'm going into the shade uh, Calypso I really enjoy the palette name or the shade names in this palette as well so this one Calypso it is the most beautiful bright primary orange and I'm just putting that on the inner third with the same brush I did make sure to wipe off most of that pink pigment before I dipped into the orange though and I'm just taking small amounts making sure to keep this line up here nice and clean so what I'm doing is following the line following the shadow of my orbital socket and I'm gonna wing it out here on the outer corner but I'm just building up that orange pigment and they blend effortlessly they play really really well with each other y'all I tell you what I have not found absolutely anything wrong with the Beauty Bay formula so far I like it so so much I think it is insane bang for your buck oh the palettes are pretty the color stories are great the colors are uh, like saturated and pigmented and creamy and easy to use and blend they're just so so good I do however think that these shimmers are best used with a finger or a wet brush to really get that kind of shine and metallic yumminess uh, for them with them you really have to use them with a finger or a wet brush but that is the pink and the orange together see how seamlessly they blend oh so so good so I'm gonna take my uh, brush and I'm gonna wipe it off on my towel again and then I'm gonna dip into the shade wild which is the most beautiful bright like red like fire engine red 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 uh, and it is so pretty it actually translates red onto the eye it doesn't go pink uh, that's the biggest problem I have with a lot of red shadows to find a true crimson red that translates red on the eye is so so rare this is such a good one uh, BH Cosmetics makes my absolute favorite red though uh, I actually used this palette not too long ago did I put it somewhere I can't reach it probably it is the BH Cosmetics little bit psycho palette it is my absolute favorite favorite black and red palette they're so good they're so good it just takes zero effort to use that palette I heard I heard that BH Cosmetics is coming back in September I am so excited I'm not gonna have a dime to spend on any of their new releases which breaks my heart but at least they're bringing out you know at least they're releasing new products I absolutely cannot wait to see what they release I am so excited and so intrigued So I'm taking that red now and just kind of fluffing it on. 
on the outer portion of my eye. Look how pretty and red that shows up. Isn't that so nice? And I love this color combo. I love the pink into the orange into the red. It is, it's very much a sunset eye. Very much a sunset eye. I tried to go for like sky over water kind of thing. I tried to give you sunset vibes and oh, it's just so, so pretty. I wish I was a better like actual artist because I would try to draw like uh, clouds on there somewhere. I think that would be really pretty. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just gonna keep building this up on the outer portion of my eye, but I am so excited to see what BH is gonna release. I cannot wait. They haven't posted anything uh, that I've seen about the new releases or the new launches. So I'm not exactly sure what they're going to look like. All I know is that they're gonna be so incredible and probably absolutely stunning. I am praying, I am praying that they did not change the formula because the formula BH had was absolutely perfect. But I'm also really excited to see how they're going to expand. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they expand and do, you know, cause they're, they do already, they do really great uh, eyeshadow palettes. They do really awesome my eyes are watering so bad. Uh, they do really awesome uh, brushes. The brushes from BH Cosmetics are chef's kiss. Really fantastic. Uh, really beautifully priced as well. Uh, you know, especially for like a, a, a name brand kind of brush. There's, a, a, if you're looking for really affordable brushes, but really great quality as well, I definitely think you should check out Amazon. Uh, do Look up Do Color on Amazon. I think they're really fantastic. Uh, and they have really great, uh, you know, varieties versions like sets that have actually useful brushes in there really great but so does bh cosmetics they're fantastic as well just a little bit more expensive but totally worth every single cent i think so that's what we're looking like so far beautifully blended nice and bright and vivid and ready to go we're going to cut the crease now and for that, I'm going to use the old standby. This is my e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer. I have this in the shade Fair Rose. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. But I'm hoping that they come out with things other than eyeshadow palettes and brushes. I was thinking that they could do like a really bomb, like, chromatic metallic kind of uh liquid eyeshadow do liquid eyeshadow for sure i think that would fit in with the brand just like perfectly right and then i was thinking they could also maybe do i don't know maybe like if they could get into like the paints you know like the artistic more artistic side of makeup like with paints and things like that i think it would be so much fun their formulas are always so spot on i really think that if they put their heads to it and came out with like eye paints or even like face paints i think it'd be fantastic there is a brand that i have been wanting to check out really really badly um just because i do think they are pretty uh they're pretty artistic and i really like i like their vibe i think it meshes really well with what i like to do on my channel and i have a couple of palettes from them that I really, really enjoy. I already know that I enjoy the eyeshadow formula, but they have a bunch of other stuff that I wanna try out as well. Did I even, oh, hmm. Did I even say the brand name? It's Rude Cosmetics. And they're not super expensive either. which makes me happy. They're kind of like high-end drugstore priced, but their quality is so nice. And they have, they have all kinds of like really cool, funky artistic makeup products. Like they have uh, super glitterized lipsticks and they have like chromatic eyeliners and they sell all kinds of uh, uh, like water activated cake liners and stuff. I gotta get that off my nose. <laughs> uh, they have uh, water activated cake liners and I am so in love with cake liners. They're one of my absolute favorite mediums to use. 
they're first of all they're just really easy to use and because I have extremely textured eyelids a lot of times if I try to use like an eyeliner pen or something like that it tugs on my eye and makes it impossible for me to get a nice clean line which is why when I do my cut creases I really take my time and tap the product into place because when you have hooded eyes and then textured eyelids on top of it the absolute worst thing you could do is sit there and tug on your eyes you're gonna get a messy sloppy line every single time it is so much better to just sit here and take your time and tap everything into place teeny tiny motions at a time tapping everything into place and then you end up with a really beautiful super clean line and everything looks exactly like the, uh, exactly the way you want it to I did take this side up too far though so I'm gonna take a q-tip with a little bit of micellar water on it and just kind of clean that up a scotch because uh, not everybody is perfect and not every makeup look is perfect sadly I'm just gently tapping on top of that line trying to blend it in just a touch and then I'm gonna go back in to my motor brush back in with that red and just gently press that over top of the mistake like so and it's taken care of mistake never happened and then we can go in there and fix the wing what was I talking about BH cosmetics oh rude cosmetics so yeah I'm super excited about uh Ruse rude cosmetics I want to try their formulas really bad. And like I said, they're not like super expensive. So it is doable. It's just, you know, making myself spend the money, I think. But Mr. Hubby is taking me to Walmart tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. I love me some Walmart. I am 100% a Walmart shopper. Walmart is like my favorite place in the whole wide world. They literally have everything. They have everything I need, everything I want. I go in and it's like my own little personal wonderland of grown up delights. They've got pillows and blankets. I tell you what, that is my weakness. Y'all, I would, every time I go out, every time and I have money in my pocket please leave no doubt in your mind that I will be returning home with a blanket and a pillow <sighs> I love it so much there is I have a big giant comfy sectional couch we saved up for forever to buy this couch right and it's one of those big giant couches that you can kind of lay on and get comfy on and it's like literally a couch you can live your life on and we've had it for forever now, but it's giant, right? And it's so big that uh, each of us can lay down on the couch, get comfortable, literally sprawl out. And we could, we could literally sleep on that couch if we wanted to. I love this couch, okay? Y'all, 
you can't even sit on the darn thing because I have so many pillows. <laughs> I have so many pillows and so many blankets on that couch every time. Oh, like Home Goods. Home Goods is my place. It is my happy place. I love Home Goods. I love Walmart too, but Home Goods you just get they have the best little like throw uh throw blankets and throw pillows. So before this dries, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. concealer brush. It's just a flat packing brush. And I'm gonna go into the shade Marine, which is this one right here. It is a really beautiful cornflower blue with a uh, gold flex in it. <sighs> We're gonna pack that all over the lid. I'm gonna take this all over the concealer but I'm gonna leave just a little bit of concealer empty I'm gonna take it to just above my natural crease I'm gonna start most of the pigment on the actual lid and then I'll go in with a slightly smaller brush to kind of line up line up my edges but the goal here is to make the line of concealer an even thickness the whole way across the wing. Uh, but blankets and pillows are my jam. I love, I love oh, just getting on the couch and being comfy and watching a good movie. And especially in the winter with like a big old cup of really hot coffee or hot green tea or... Mm, it is my favorite thing in the world to do. And I, I don't like to wear a, a ton of clothes. I hate, not hate, but I really dislike feeling things. Like this, if there's a reason I'm always in a tank top. I just don't like feeling things on my arms. Like I just don't like feeling, uh, you know, <sighs> confined. So I really don't wear a lot of, I don't even own a lot of long sleeve clothing. So the answer to that is, of course, blankies. And oh my goodness. So I was watching a I was watching a video the other day. I was watching a video the other day about uh, it was on TikTok and it was about this couple who had gone they had gone over to somebody's house for like a dinner party. And they walked in and saw pineapples everywhere. And they were like, oh, we can't be here. We're not into the we're not into the pineapple lifestyle, right? And I was like, well, what's wrong with pineapples? I was like, what is what's the big deal with pineapples, huh? And because I have pineapple pillows. I have pineapple pillow pillows all over my couch because they're yellow and they're adorable and I just thought they were the cutest things on earth, right? Well, I look up, what's what's the problem with I'm sitting here winking at you. Uh but I, I looked up, I said, what is the problem? with pineapples and do you know that Google told me that pineapples are a symbol for they are the theme symbol for a certain group of married people that like to get together and enjoy each other right if you catch my meaning, if you do not know what I'm talking about, look up pineapples and what they stand for, what they symbolize. But I legitimately had no idea. And now I'm wondering if every visitor I've ever had for the past, I don't know, four years has thought that my husband and I like to enjoy ourselves with other couples. Now, there is no shame in my game. There's, there shouldn't be any in yours either. If you enjoy being a pineapple, good for you, baby girl. I wonder, is it is it fantastic? I, I, I'm genuinely curious. Is it fantastic? Me, on the other hand, uh, that is not my, that's not my thing. It's not something that I think I could, you know, be uh, comfortable with maybe when I'm older. But as for right now, oh, that looks so pretty. Not necessarily something I'm super comfortable with. <laughs> so now I'm wondering if people think I'm a pineapple. 
I'm wondering if I should get rid of the uh, pineapple pillows, but they're just so cute. I just don't want to. They're absolutely the most adorable little things. So this is what the eye looks like thus far. I think it is very, very pretty. We have a nice clean line. Yeah, everything looks really, really good. I am going to take a, y'all, I have got to get some more Q-tips because I use these things like they're going out of style. I have never bought so many Q-tips in my life than uh, after, than when I, uh, after I started doing my makeup because they're just so useful. They work for everything. They're teeny tiny. But because they're so useful, I use them for everything and I run out of them like crazy. So we're going to add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of shine now. And for that, I'm going to use this. This is the Euphoria 24 color uh, eyeshadow palette. So it's got a mix of glitters and uh, shadows, but it's mostly glitters. I think there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glitters out of the whole 24 or seven mattes out of the whole palette. But we're going to use this one right here and we're just going to tap this. It's a really fantastic glitter formula. It sticks really beautifully to uh to the eye to the skin so i'm just gonna gently tap this all over the blue eyeshadow and it's just gonna give it a little bit of movement it's just gonna add a little touch of something fun bring up a little bit of light to the party as well very very pretty and then we're gonna add a wing and I'm gonna use one of the new uh, liners from uh, Halsey's new Halsey's new brand brand the AF 94 uh, they're not my favorite liners just because they uh, have I can't stand having this stuff on the bottom of my eye for me it just kind of like throws off the whole look at this point, at this stage in the game, I want my eye look to look as finished and clean as possible. So I can really gauge like what I need to add. We're starting to perfect things now. That wing is so sharp. It looks so good. I'm happy with the blue. Okay, so we're going to add a wing, uh, and they're not my favorite just because they have a uh, felt tip applicator, and instead of a brush tip, the brush tip tends to glide over my eyes a little bit better. This one does drag just the tiniest bit, but they are really nice liners. They're nicely pigmented. I'm going to use the shade uh, Someone New. It is a really stunning dark navy blue almost a blueberry color really pretty i'm gonna use this you know what i'm colorblind that might be purple no it's a dark blue i'm gonna use this to create a little bit of a wing really hard to talk and do eyeliner at the same time. But see how easy it goes on? Uh, it does feel pretty wet on the eye, but I think I like that. Not the actual feeling. But it really lets you know where you've gotten it, you know? I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I can feel it going on my eye. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a wing. I'm going to try to stick to the shape of the wing that's there already. I'm not going to do a super big wing. And I'm going to point it more outwards than upward.
just like that. And then I'm gonna fill it in. It's hard to do when your eyes are hooded, but I really prefer the bat wing technique. And it's difficult as well because this eye is more hooded than this one. So sometimes on this side, I end up with a really normal looking wing because the eye isn't as hooded and I can kind of get away with that. Yeah, see that wing looks almost perfect. There's no bat wing to it at all. But look how dark and opaque that is. So, so pretty. I like it so much. We're going to clean up the outside of this eye and then we're going to do something that I don't usually do and we're going to add a matte inner corner highlight. And I thought for this look it would be super cute. Oh, we're doing good on time. Oh, and then when I drag my line, eyeliner, when I clean up that line, it kind of drags a little bit of that darker blue pigment up. And I really like the way that it kind of frames the wing. I really like that little swish there. So I really try to catch a little bit of that eyeliner so I can get a little bit of that drag. Because I think it is a nice little touch. And then for the bottom lash line, we're gonna go in with purple. And I think purple is gonna add a little bit of moodiness to this eye. I think it's gonna add a little bit of depth and I really like the way that it looks on the lower lash line. Just cleaning up that glitter that I got everywhere. But other than that, I really don't have any fallout. Everything looks so, so nice. So yellow, matte yellow on the inner corner. For that, I'm going to use my favorite inner corner eye brush. This is the AOA E124 teeny tiny little pencil brush. It's foundation, not foundation, but it's concealer. But I'm gonna mix two different colors. So I'm gonna mix Sunflower and Taxi. So these two shades right here, I like the brightness of this yellow, but I like the pigmentation and the depth of the more mustardy color. So I'm gonna use both of those And just tap this on the inner corner. Not super big. I really just want a little bit of a pop of color there. Don't want it to be perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just a little bit of the yellow just to know that it's there. And then I'm going to go in. Let's go ahead and do our eyeliner real quick. I'm going to take, y'all know it, my Milani Stay Put Liner. And line it probably looks so painful when I do this I swear I've tried to learn how to do it in a way that looks just a little bit more visually appealing to no avail to absolutely no avail so I just put that on my upper lash line uh, because it's wet it's gonna transfer onto the lower lash line just a bit and that's fine the lower water line and that's fine and then I'm going to take my e.l.f. This is my e.l.f. smudge brush. It is a teeny tiny flat dense brush. Perfect for smudging or smoking out the lower lash line. This is actually my favorite lower lash line brush. Uh, it's dirty all the time so I don't use it all the time. But when it's clean I really like to go for this one. And I'm going to take this into the shade. Into this really beautiful electric purple. I'm going to take it into the shade Mulberry. So this one right here, and then towards the inner portion of my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade, and this is called Grape Soda. So we're going to start with this and then transition into this one. And I'm just going to get a tiny amount on my brush at a time, starting at my outer edge. I'm just going to use very gentle pressure with back and forth sweeping motions and just gently look how beautifully pigmented it is though they blend out so easy 
and this purple is so good it's not patchy it doesn't look ashy on the skin it's just really really good matches my shirt almost perfectly oh and then i'm not even going to worry about wiping my brush off i'm going to go into the shade grape soda so that lighter purple now and i'm just going to start because this shade is a little bit more pastel it's going to fade into the yellow on the inner corner a little more gracefully and not look so much like a like a car accident kind of just trying to mash two colors together it's gonna help the transition and then I'm gonna take this whatever's left on my brush and just go slightly underneath that darker purple to help fade out that edge just like that oh it is so pretty so pretty uh last but not least we're gonna do a teeny 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 tiny tiny bit of a brow bone highlight for that i'm gonna go in to it's not my favorite it's not i wouldn't it's not what i would pick for that you know what let's do something else because i was trying to only use one palette but i really don't like the gold up here i would like to use something a little bit more translucent or iridescent something more of like a highlighter so I'm going to use, I have a, I have a palette. Oh, here it is. This is my most very, very favorite palette of all time. It is my most very special palette. This is the KVD Alchemist palette. Uh, this was gifted to me a couple years ago for Christmas. And I am, I, I cherish this palette because it's so incredibly expensive. I would never in a million years pay that much money for a palette with four eyeshadows in it. But when I tell you these shadows look like absolute iridescent fire on the eye, they're so incredibly beautiful. I'm going to go into the shade Ultraviolet, which is my very favorite shade in this entire palette. And I'm just going to put a touch of it. Look at that. <clears throat> it makes me it makes me choke up look how incredibly beautiful that iridescent just absolute amazingness like is that not the most beautiful purple fire you've ever seen in your life it is so incredibly beautiful I don't I forget I have it sometimes Let's see oh and it even covers that gold they're so pigmented. They're so special. Guys, if you ever come across this palette and you're looking for something special, something that's really, you could use this as a highlighter as well. They're that beautiful. My allergies are so terrible. So if I'm breathing hard, it's because I can't breathe. Oh, <clears throat> um, if you're looking for something special and if you're looking for something to just bring a little bit more oomph to your looks, this is the most incredible, incredible little pop palette like it's just a pop it's that extra something that brings a look from like six to ten it's just oh it is so so good but yes I think that's kind of the perfect brow bone highlight so so pretty and we're gonna add a little bit of mascara and that is gonna be the look I probably am gonna pair this because I really want the eyes to shine I'm probably gonna pair this with what I usually wear uh, so I will put a, a brown lip liner on and then put a light nude there is a lipstick that I want to talk to you guys about though uh, this is the Maybelline it is the ultimate matte skinny lipsticks but this is in the shade oh I'm so blind more blonde when I tell you this is the most most beautiful peachy light colored it's literally it's literally the color of my lips but when you wear this with a darker brown lip liner complete and total 100% 90s vibes but when you wear this with a darker brown lip liner just put this in the center and then top it with some gloss oh it is like the most perfect nude lip look oh it's so good so good uh guys i'm gonna add a little bit of mascara and finish off the look i will of course be posting finished pics both on instagram and facebook guys definitely go check them out i feel like you can always get a better idea of what the eye look really looks like in a picture just because you can zoom in and all that good stuff 
but I will of course have the links for those in the description box below along with everything that I used in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. I really just kind of sat here and talked kind of like a little bit of a gab session, a, uh, a girl's conversation I guess I love you so so much please know I am so grateful that you are here I really really appreciate you guys you guys mean a lot to me and I love you very very much and I hope you have a beautiful fantastic rest of your day I hope I was able to entertain you in some small way make you smile at least once and as always no filters no edits no fancy lighting it's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with my makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Until next time, my most beautiful, amazing loverlies, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.